Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make chocolate chip refrigerator cookies and this is what they look like. As you can see, they're a beautiful golden brown color, wonderfully crisp edges. Of course, uh, the flavor is buttery sweet and then we're loading them with chocolate chips and some chopped nuts. So, um, if you uh, have a stand mixer like I do, just use a paddle attachment or you know you could use a hand mixer or really you could just use a large bowl with a wooden spoon. The first thing you need is three quarters of a cup which is 170 grams of butter. My personal preference is unsalted. I prefer the flavor but you could use salted and if you do then just leave out the salt in the recipe. And of course you want your butter at room temperature. So I'll just put that in there and then I'm just going to beat it just to soften it and get it nice and smooth. So just, you know, maybe 30 seconds. Okay. And as always, when making any batter, you know, scrape the bottom and the sides of your uh, mixing bowl as often as you need to make sure all your ingredients are mixed together and not stuck on the bottom, which they tend to do. And next, uh, chocolate chip cookies typically have a combination of, of both brown sugar and white sugar. Today we're going to use two thirds of a cup of firmly packed light brown sugar. That would be 140 grams. And, you know, sometimes you might want to um, just go through your brown sugar. Sometimes there's little hard lumps. You want to remove those. And then we're going to do something a little different here from my other chocolate chip cookie recipes. We're going to add some powdered sugar, or you may know that as confectioner sugar or icing sugar. We're going to add three quarters of a cup, which is 90 grams. And then I'm just going to mix this together on medium speed, just to get a little bit of air into our batter. Okay. So what we're doing is just basically mixing all the ingredients together, like so, it's nice and smooth, and then just to get a little bit of air into that mixture. So next, you will need one large egg that would be about 55 grams with, out of the shell, and then have your egg at room temperature. And then for flavoring, I like to add one and a half teaspoons, which is six grams of pure vanilla extract. It's kind of that classic thing you add to uh, chocolate chip cookies. If you didn't want a vanilla flavor, you know, you don't absolutely need it. So I'm just going to mix that in. Okay. Pretty simple. So now for our dry ingredients, I have in a separate bowl two cups, 260 grams of an all-purpose flour. You may know that as plain flour. And to that, I'm going to add just a quarter of a teaspoon, one gram of salt. Like I said, if you use salted butter, you could just leave out that salt. And then I'm adding uh, one teaspoon, five grams of baking soda. You know, that's baking sodas for um, leavening, which when you have an acidic ingredient like uh, the brown sugar, that's why we use baking soda. But the other reason for baking soda, I'm just going to whisk these together. The other reason for baking soda is it helps uh, give us a crisp cookie, those nice edges. The baking soda actually helps with that. So let's mix that in. You want to make sure that baking soda is really mixed in because if it's not and you get clumps, it's a little bitter, which we don't want. So I'm just going to add our flour and slowly mix that in. Have it on low speed. You don't want that flour coming up in your face. So I have that about halfway mixed in. So now what I'm going to do, scrape this all down, and then we'll add our final two ingredients. So you will need one and a half cups, which is 250 grams 
of your favorite chocolate chips. Now you can use uh, semi-sweet, bittersweet, you could use milk, you could use white, you could actually use like a combination of uh, chocolate chips if you want. And I'm adding some chopped nuts. I think that really adds. You can, if you want, leave the nuts out and maybe if you want, add a little more chocolate chips. So uh, you could use, I'm actually using pecans today. You need one cup, which is 110 grams of chopped pecans. You could use walnuts, you could use um, hazelnuts, you could use almonds. I've even used macadamia nuts, or you could kind of have a combination. I like if you're, you know, using like uh, pecans, walnuts, hazelnuts, almonds. I do like to toast them first. You don't absolutely have to, but toasting your nuts does bring out their full flavor. So just put them in a 350 degree oven that's 180 degrees for about, you know, six, eight minutes, just until they just start to brown and you smell them. Let them cool and then, you know, fine. I'd like to chop them fairly finely because we are making a uh, refrigerator cookie. So now I'm just going to beat this on low speed just until everything's all mixed together. And that is our dough pretty simple. Like I said, you could make this by hand and you get, your arm will get a bit of a workout, but that's, that's not a bad thing. So now, as I said, this is a refrigerator cookie. So what we're going to do is form this batter into two logs. And what is so great about this is you don't have to bake off all the cookies at once. So now you can, um, you know, divide the batter, just kind of eyeball it. I like to weigh, I like to be a little more exact. I know. I like each log the same size. So um, you could, I've done this, I've made them before, so I know it's about 535 grams per log. Right. So now, what you do is just take, oh, let's put that right in there. Uh, just take a piece of plastic wrap. And then, so we're going to form about an eight inch long. It's 20 centimeters. So just kind of put it there. Now my dough, my kitchen is quite warm today. So my dough is soft. If you have that problem, just form it as best as you can. And then what you can do is put it into the fridge, you know, let it sit a half hour and then you could bring it back out and really uh, get a really nice shape if you find your dough is too soft, which can happen. So eight inches, if you, you know, get the ruler. <laughs> um, that's about right, almost. And then that's about uh, two and a half inches wide, just what, seven and a half centimeters. So just, you know, and level the top, pretty easy to do. So really this is like a slice and bake. What we're gonna do now is just wrap this up, put it into the refrigerator, and then we wanna chill it till it gets really firm. I find, you know, probably four to six hours or overnight. And then what you can do is, you can leave this, this dough in the refrigerator probably four or five days. And then, you know, the kids want just a few cookies, just slice off a few and then you bake them. Or what you could do is once this is it chilled, you could put it into the, uh, the freezer for like a couple months. And then when you kind of want to do some chocolate chip cookies, just take out this defrost it in the refrigerator, and then again, you have that slice and bake. So um, I would say probably, like I said, four or six hours. And when we come back, we will bake some off. So now we're ready to bake off our chocolate chip refrigerator cookies. So about 15 minutes before you want to put them in the oven, preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 165 degrees Celsius. And then um, you need a baking sheet. 
I've lined mine with parchment paper, but you could just either lightly butter your uh, baking sheet or even spray it with one of those non-stick sprays. And then we want to cut our cookies. I like to make, uh, cut them into a half inch, which is about one and a quarter centimeter uh, thick slices. So sharp knife, I use a ruler. And then I just take my ruler and I just kind of um, uh, mark it off. So I have little marks so I can make them all the same size because you want them all the same size because you don't want one cookie to be done like two minutes before another one because they're different thicknesses. So that's why I think it's a good idea to use your uh, kitchen ruler and then just take your knife and just try to, straight, try to do it straight down. Now if you find, because we have so many chocolate chips and so many nuts in our batter, you know, it might crumble a bit, but don't worry, just kind of I just kind of put it all back together. Who's going to know? And then just put it, space them equal, you know, evenly on your baking sheet. Just another point. Sometimes, you know, uh, when you're forming your dough, your, uh, the end is not quite, you know, straight, even. So what you can do is just trim up your edges before you start marking off so you get, like, really nice uh, shaped cookies. So that's what you do. And then if, like I'm only baking, what, 12, so I'm just gonna wrap this uh, dough up and put it back into uh, my fridge, or like I said, you could put it in your freezer. But as you saw, it's really nice and firm now. I can get a real nice cut. So baking, uh, you know, chocolate chip cookies is one of those cookies. Some people like there's really like crispy edges and crisp all the way through. Some people like crisp edges, but really soft in the center. Some people like them almost to the point of being like, you'd say, oh, that's a little underbaked. And so, you know, your baking time, how you, you personally like them, you, you might want to, uh, you know, vary your baking time. For like, as you can see, these cookies, fair, you know, golden brown, fairly crisp, you know, they're a little soft in the center, but they're crisp around the edges. So I'm baking them about 14 minutes. So kind of use that as a guide. Of course, everybody's oven, you know, bakes a little differently. So, you know, you might want to check them at like the 11, 12 minutes just to kind of see whether they're the, uh, they're the way you want. And I do about seven minutes in, I do rotate my pan front to back. So I'm going to do them about 14 minutes. Okay, so our chocolate chip refrigerator cookies are now done. So I put the pan on a wire rack, as you can see, nice golden brown edges. And I bake them so that the center is going to be a little soft. So I'm just going to let them cool maybe a minute in the pan, and then I'm just going to use a little spatula to transfer them to the wire rack to finish cooling. And when we come back, we will try one. So let's try one. Now these are still like a little warm because I don't know about you, but that to me is when they're, they're at their best. <laughs> they're great. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like a chocolate chip cookie? Nice crisp edges, they're, they're soft in the center, and then you have you know, that nice chocolate chip and the nuts. Such a great cookie. So, I think they're at their best, like the day they're made. But you can still cover and store them for a couple days. So try them. And until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com.